Paso Pacifico, in cooperation with Carbon Fund, brings you Return to Forest, a project dedicated to mitigating the effects of climate change while restoring threatened forest ecosystems and increasing the sustainability of local communities in western Nicaragua. Today, the world as we know it is at a crossroads. Carbon emissions and other greenhouse gases produced from the machines of human industry are undoubtedly altering the current climate. This will have the effect of disrupting global climate patterns and increasing the intensity and frequency of extreme events such as hurricanes and droughts. These impacts may not be distributed evenly across the globe, but we do know that they will most adversely impact developing countries where poverty and limited infrastructure leave communities vulnerable to extreme climate events. Nestled in the heart of the Americas, Nicaragua is a developing country of unparalleled beauty and biodiversity. A landscape dotted with volcanic cones, rolling coastal plains of endangered tropical dry forests that to the south merge with the more lush tropical moist forest, only to be interrupted by Lake Nicaragua. From there, rivers flow into rich mangroves along the great Pacific coast, and within it, a unique diversity of flora and fauna. Where howler monkeys wander through arboreal trails among endangered parrots, toucans, and tree sloths. The forest floor is home to hidden insects, iguanas, and to the beaches where once a year an ancient migration of sea turtles emerge to nest. Despite its exquisite beauty, Nicaragua has been neglected. Torn by civil strife, pervasive poverty, and an expanding agricultural frontier, which has left its forests fragmented and the people and wildlife exposed to the extremes of climate change, where during large storms rivers overflow with debris and threaten simple homes, while during droughts farmers often must walk for miles to find water. In western Nicaragua, where over 70% of the people reside, extreme deforestation and overgrazing has left many rivers dry and soils eroded. Threatened species and ecosystems with limited or fragmented distribution are also disproportionately impacted by climate change. Finally, tourism is rapidly developing. And while this may provide a great economic opportunity, if not properly planned and implemented, it may pose a great environmental threat by putting increased demands on both water and energy resources. Paso Pacifico is an organization dedicated to restoring the unique Pacific Slope ecosystems of Central America. Currently, Paso Pacifico is focused on developing the Paso del Istmo Conservation Corridor in the southwestern province of Rivas. In early 2007, Paso Pacifico joined forces with the organization CarbonFund.org to address the global need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon Fund identified standards made available through the Climate Community and Biodiversity Alliance that recommended a holistic approach that considers both reforestation and socioeconomic impacts on local people. In June of 2007, Paso Pacifico began the Return to Forest Project to restore and conserve Nicaragua's forests. Soy directora nacional de Paso Pacífico y lo más interesante de esta organización es que en realidad se ha acercado mucho al sector privado y estamos eh, con, con el reto de poder acercarnos a ellos mucho más y de tal manera que ellos puedan desarrollarse pero también puedan eh, ser este desarrollo amigable con la naturaleza. One year into the project, Paso Pacifico has established partnership with landowners at sites previously dedicated to cattle ranching. Legal contracts were made between Paso Pacifico and landowners, with land titles changed to reflect the conservation and reforestation objectives. Tree nurseries were established at private farms and in association with community groups. Using native seeds harvested from nearby areas, local people provided the labor force helping to harvest, plant, and aid in the growth of the over 30 native tree species which were planted.
We also selected the trees with the help of Paso Pacifico because we wanted to ensure that the trees we planted helped rebound the animals as quickly as possible. So we specifically selected fruiting and flowering trees uh, which provide most of what we wanted. Once ready, trees were moved from nurseries to planting areas with the help of 10 landowners and over 50 local workers. More than 200,000 trees were planted. Now that the trees are in the ground, Paso Pacifico actively manages them and the natural regeneration occurring as birds and wildlife increase dispersal into these newly protected areas. As part of the Climate, Community, and Biodiversity Standards, Paso Pacifico conducts studies on the socioeconomic status of local communities on forest biomass, carbon storage, and biodiversity conditions near the reforestation sites. Esto es una maravilla que esto en cinco años va a ser increíble, en diez va a ser alucinante, creo yo. Va a volver a lo que yo vi cuando era chiquito, si Dios quiere. Throughout the lifetime of the Return to Forest project, conservative projections indicate that 170,000 tons of global greenhouse gas will be offset, equivalent to removing 30,000 cars from the road for one year, or 4.25% of Nicaragua's total annual emissions. The trees that are planted will not only store carbon, but will also cool a hot and dusty landscape. La reforestación. Sí, a quién no le gustaría vivir este, verdad, en lo fresco. Sí, porque si hay palo, está fresco, pero si no hay palo, hay un calor bárbaro. The benefits of reforestation within the project area have been fully embraced by local communities, excited by the benefits of returning wildlife and the tourism jobs that it will bring. Después del ganado, entonces ahora quieren meterse al turismo. Así es que eso es lo que queremos nosotros. Mira qué bonito es estar, estar uno pensando en eso, porque ya ya tengo mi casa ya, ahí tengo palos frutales, ahí ahí he dejado yo llegar. The private reserve established through the Return to Forest project will become part of a wave of sustainable tourism development that will take place in the Paso del Istmo Conservation Corridor and will benefit both landowners and local community members. I never thought I would own 450 acres of reserve, let alone be able to plant it. I never thought I would be able to plant 75 trees, let alone 75,000. Ya uno con un solario y otro con lo que es la preparación. As landowners and local community members learn about the benefits of reforesting, they are motivated to do more. Me animo a sembrar árbol yo a mi a mi parcela para que haya más este protección del del suelo, de la tierra. Along this narrow isthmus of Central America's Pacific coast. The crossroads of climate change have been met. Forests are being planted that will help reduce global greenhouse gases and aid the recovery of an endangered ecosystem. Communities and people that have long struggled under the difficulties faced in a developing country are getting involved and finding hope in caring for their environment. Sigan esto de ejemplo porque este es muy bueno, porque este es el futuro de Nicaragua y nosotros los nicaragüenses.